A New Zealand weightlifter is set to become the first transgender athlete to compete at the upcoming Tokyo Olympics, but critics argue that she has an unfair advantage over biological women. Our next guest, who placed 13th at the 2016 Olympics, was forced to drop a weight class when Laurel Hubbard began competing as a woman in 2017. Former New Zealand weightlifter Tracy Lambrich joins us now. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Congratulations on making it to the Olympics. Oh, thank you very much. It was but, quite an exciting time. I'm sure. I'm sure. Now, you know Laurel Hubbard, right? Yes. And how did that affect you when she wanted to compete against you? Um, at first, I was pretty angry, pretty upset, um, pretty disappointed. There were a lot of emotions, but I was, I really wasn't that happy about it. Um, the way I found out was via a phone call from my coach at the time. It was like a Monday morning and I got a phone call and I was told all my records had just been broken. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm like, there's no one else close to me. I, I shouldn't have my records broken. And then, um, yeah, I was told, well, Laurel's started weightlifting and she competed on the weekends. So as of now, you're number two. Wow. So that forced you, you had to go down and wait, right? Well, I was told by um, the national weightlifting body that I either needed to drop a weight category or look at retiring because the competitions we were looking at qualifying for, you could only send one per nation in the body weight. Um, so they were like, it's not going to be you. So your options are lose 13 kilo or 18 kilos in three months or you can retire. And what did you do? <laughs> I'm quite competitive, um, so I lost the weight within three months. How hard was um, that? Had, it was very hard, but, you know, I, I surrounded myself with great people. I had a really good support team, um, and I'm, I'm very competitive and I'm hardworking, so I just did what I had to do to um, accomplish my goal of competing at my third Commonwealth Games. It, it meant a lot to me to show, I guess, the Commonwealth that I wasn't knocked out that easily. And are you still lifting? No, so <laughs> actually at the end of the competition, I um, had just had enough. I was uh, disappointed within New Zealand weightlifting and I was also just not willing to put myself through any more disappointment, I guess, or it wasn't worth me being upset anymore about the situation um, and the way I was treated as an athlete. So. My family all came out to Australia, watched me compete, and that was where I um, retired and haven't stepped back on a platform since. Wow. I know that uh, there have been, they're trying to find solutions to this, this issue, and I've been reading some articles about it, and they've talked about maybe doing away with genders, maybe just uh, you, wh however, whatever your ability is, that's who you compete against. Maybe give people a handicap like they do in golf. What's your opinion? That's a bit ridiculous. Like. Um, in a strength sport where there are reasons for having a male and female category, you can't just do away with categories. Um, I look at a lot of the young athletes around us. There are 14, 15 year old boys lifting what um, what our females lift that are, you know, these boys are at a lighter weight category. So it's honestly just gonna knock women out of sport. Uh, women are not gonna wanna participate in something where there is an opportunity for them to, um, you know, win medals or go to international competitions just yeah you have to have the categories there's no there's no other way around it tracy we wish you all the best congratulations on your accomplishments it's amazing thank you very much you're welcome lots of hard work